people and welcome back to Bookish. If you watched my last video, which is my TBR about books I wanted to read in July and August, you know that one of those books was William Trevor's Last Stories. And I talked a little bit about William Trevor and how much I liked him and kind of the quality or the feeling that his stories gave me when I read them. So I finished reading the stories yesterday, so I thought I'd film a quick, hopefully a fairly quick review of these stories today. First of all, if you don't know, William Trevor is a widely respected short story author. He um, died a few years back. Um, he was an Irish writer, spent a lot of time living in London, he wrote a lot about, you know, simple Irish people and emotionally um, difficult situations uh, who were suppressing emotional feelings. A lot of his books, a lot of his stories are like that. He also published uh, several novels, Felicia's Journey, um, let's see, the story of Lucy Galt I have here somewhere, I believe, right? Uh, Death in Summer, um, he published novels as well. His novels have a tendency to take on some kind of almost, I wouldn't call them detective stories or crime stories, but oftentimes there's, there's a little mystery uh, involved in those stories. But his short stories are really what he's known for, and he is a masterful short story writer, and this collection of short stories is not disappointing to anyone who's a fan uh, of William Trevor and his writing. So what makes Trevor such uh, a great writer is the control mastery with which he writes sentences, and how those sentences subtly convey little bits of the story and little pieces of the emotional message until you get to the end when there's an emotional climax uh, which he reveals near the end. And oftentimes, even though you think the story is headed in a certain direction, that epiphany or emo emotional climax at the end is very different. That's true of the stories here in Last Stories as well and for a lot of William Trevor short stories. They all display Trevor's, I think, characteristic control of plot and emotion and the um, incredible kind of virtuosity with which he creates sentences and builds them slowly. He oftentimes reveals the most important details almost as though they are offhand facts, but when you go back and you get to the end of the story and you, and you think about those sentences, those are the ones that are often the most important. So there are all kinds of stories about people living relatively small lives that are emotionally fraught. There's a story of a music teacher um, who was disappointed in love there's a story of a bank teller who's manipulating a uh, boyfriend, attempts to get her to take advantage of a lonely widower. There's a story of a woman who's essentially um, stalked by a man and whose wife believes that she has stolen her husband. Um, there's a story of a woman who was jilted and by the, her husband who then took up with her best friend. There's a story of a man who falls in love with a girl when she's very young and goes back uh, to visit her you know, when they're both much older. And he falls in love with her and temporarily leaves his wife. There's a story of a woman who um, gives up her child and then attempts to make reconnections. They're all stories like that. There were some things though that I noticed in the book and, and this is stuff that I found interesting because I have a feeling that it's only noticeable because it's a collection. Eight of the 10 stories in this book were uh, published in magazines uh, and in periodicals. And so they didn't appear all together, but when they appear all together, there's some interesting things uh, that I really thought about them. So I wanted to, I made some notes for myself about that. All 10 of the stories are primarily about women. I don't have any problem with a male author writing about women any more than I have a problem with a female author writing about men, but I did think it was odd that so often Trevor's stories in this collection seem to be women who in some way have, you know, been disappointed by men, uh, disappointed by husbands, disappointed by lovers, disappointed by their fathers, disappointed by their sons, um, disappointed by their friends, um, disappointed just by the way their life goes, disappointed by people who they respected. There, It's a lot of women being disappointed by men, which, you know, struck me as interesting. Uh, um, I don't know that any of these women in the stories of what you could describe as being happy, some of them in the stories feeling martyred, some of them in the stories feeling, you know, at peace, some of them in the stories still, you know, angry or bitter or lonely or sad. I really enjoyed reading this collection, but I'm a William Trevor fan, um, and I suspect 
fans of William Trevor will really like this collection as well. However, if I had never read William Trevor before and I was interested in, in reading William Trevor short stories, um, I would probably pick up a different book other than last stories. I might go for uh, The News from Ireland which I have a copy of here in paperback, and he also had another really famous short story collection called The Day We Got Drunk on Cake. So, like I said, I don't know that this is where I would start. I don't know that, sorry, Last Stories is where I would start uh, reading William Trevor. Um, but if you are a William Trevor fan, then I think you'll find this to be really satisfying, and you'll savor a lot, almost all the stories in this collection. Thank you for watching.